Hi, I am Alexia Mvrazi, Greek City Times' roving reporter, and uh, we, you might have followed uh, our live just a little bit earlier. We're in the area of Mati, where on Monday there was some devastating fires, uh, especially in Mati, but in all kinds of, uh, in all, all the coastal area around here and in some other parts of Greece. This is where, unfortunately and very tragically, most people lost their lives. Um, let me just show you, we'll show you later on the exact spot where this happened. 26 people who gathered together to try and escape to the sea. Um, and they, they couldn't get down and they ended up uh, dying huddled together. Let me just show you why that is impossible. Because some people say, yeah, but you're near the sea. Surely you can find a way to crawl down. Uh, this is a house that we're reporting from right now. One of these coastal houses. It's not the one where the people were found dead. but. Look at how impossible it is to get down to. I mean, you would die just trying to get down, basically. Um, and look at all the, the devastation on all the coastline. These are all these houses destroyed from these fires. And a lot of people actually were waiting in the sea for four or five hours for rescue. Uh, Whoever managed to get down to the water was uh, waiting there for rescue. A lot of people got trapped in the actual streets trying to reach the, the seaside from points where they could. And this is basically the, let's say, the bowels of, of, the, of the destruction, this coastal part where everything is completely burnt to a crisp. Earlier we were show, showing you some more inner residential areas, um, but in this area it's like 90% destroyed. to what level of devastation the fires obliterated the whole this whole area a lot of people have, uh, have had summer houses here there's also a lot of uh, permanent residents who have lost their homes area of Mati if you've just joined us. Just one of the many areas and points where catastrophic fires took place. The worst fires in uh, over a decade in Greece. And uh, the worst not only in terms of the damage uh, that occurred to the actual landscapes themselves but also in the sense of the, the count of uh, the life count of deaths which has uh, uh, reached up to 84 now. With uh, around 65 people hospitalized and 11 of them in critical condition. People of all ages, from babies to elderly have lost their lives. You can see also around, there's these people that we see in the distance in the orange vests, they are recording. This is their second check. They go from uh, throughout the whole area, the, and other areas of course as well they're recording the destruction of each house uh, so that they can see what exact damage has occurred walking around here with the, the air thick with smoke there's still smoke coming out of some places uh, you'll see fire engines uh, cleaning services volunteers journalists and uh, and residents with really the look of uh, of death in their eyes i mean i saw some people outside the church and they had obviously lost loved ones and seen and experienced horrendous scenes
Scotto boat. Someone's boat. Today the latest news is that uh, the government is saying that there is definite uh, suspicion of arson because the fire started in something like 15 fronts at the same time. Here we have the Piros Vistico Soma, the fire services. Τώρα ήρθε ο πύρος βυστικό σώμα, τι κάνει ακριβώς. Αυτή είναι κλιμάκια για να δουν αν υπάρχουν κάποια, κάποια λιθανότητες ή οτιδήποτε άλλο. Α. Είναι ειδικό κλιμάκιο. Και βλέπουν να, αν υπάρχουν. Ε, αν έχουν μείνει άλλοι άνθρωποι που μπορούν να είναι καμένοι, αν υπάρχουν άλλα σώματα, οτιδήποτε. οτιδήποτε. So this, this, uh, this specific unit of the fire department is uh, looking for human remains basically they're going from place to place and trying to see if there's any more um, remains of, uh, of people because there's a lot of dozens of missing people still um, and uh, relatives uh, friends and neighbors of uh, loved ones are going to the Athens morgue every day to try and look for the missing This is uh, the exact spot where, uh, if you if we go this way now, you'll see um, where the 26 people lost their lives. As as we started with this live, you you saw how hard it is to get down to the sea, which is it's absolutely horrendous. If you think about the nightmare of being having the sea right in front of you, having fire coming up to you and not being able to get down to the water. I mean, it's, it's just such a skin crawling thought. Um, this is what a lot of people have been crying for. It's this desperation of trying to escape and not being able to. now from that house where we started off at uh, for a good 10 minutes at least and you you can't reach the sea unless you walk all this way that we've been walking at a normal pace imagine the streets packed with people and cars in all directions it's absolutely impossible to get down to the shoreline Yeah, the army is here as well, the police, fire department, special units of the fire department, uh, people recording the damages to the houses, so from engineering units, from municipalities to around Attica have sent units to clean, to bring food and uh, clothing and medicines to local residents in need. Uh, earlier we also spoke with a local priest who was telling us he was very lucky to, to find a way to escape because he went in a different direction and there's going to be a very special memorial service on Sunday. Good night.
realize half of the things you see here. And as I said earlier, there's the search continues for missing people. If you've just joined us, you're watching this, you're watching a live from Manmati. This specific part is where a lot of the cars were uh, trapped and uh, a lot of cars have been removed from the streets, uh, obviously, but uh, the streets were full of burnt cars just a few days ago. Uh, you can see, I don't need to describe to you the degree of devastation that occurred here. Uh, we have a lot of people losing their lives. Uh, from all the fires in the area, there was 84 in total, but the majority were here in Manti, uh, which, as we showed earlier, this is, the sea is so near and yet so unreachable. Uh, efforts are continuing every day on many levels to clear up the area, to help the, the victims and the, the survivors and the, the residents who are still here. Most people have left. It's pretty much a ghost town by now. Uh, it will take a long time to to come back to life. Uh, if you can uh, offer any kind of help, look up uh, the links that Greek City Times is posting in the comments section for volunteering, for offering uh, medicines or other utilities that can help be helpful to the survivors and their families. And uh, yeah, this is a Another thing we keep seeing here, um, people are going from house to house and looking, looking for their friends. Is it Zachary? The So they're registering. They're also looking at homes and what's been damaged. Other people are looking at um, whether there's surviving humans or animals in the homes and then there's we also saw a few people and spoke to a few people earlier who were looking for for missing people 
they're going around and uh, and seeing where the residents are because some people have but don't forget a lot of people are in shock and uh, some people have disappeared and don't want to be reached right now so thank you for tuning in again to Greek City Times I'm Alexia Mvrazi and uh, we're here live in Mati.